Hi guys, it's me, Fire Panda. And yes, guys, thank you for clicking on another video. So today is 21 days in fasting yes guys it went so so quick and i can't believe that yeah the whole month went so quick guys oh my goodness um i'm absolutely excited we're on the last week of ramadan i'm gonna miss it a lot actually and i've kind of gotten used to the routine now um but yeah guys definitely i really really enjoyed this year's uh, ramadan not a lot of running down even though we're on lockdown like i always say in all of my vlogs but um yeah it was just very very relaxing so yeah guys we're on the last week of ramadan is why i haven't been uploading a lot during this month because i kind of noticed my routines are always the same and i just don't want to bore you with you guys so today guys I am hoping to get some cleaning done and do a lot of bits and bobs after that. Um, to Actually in the afternoon today I am planning to make some salmon fish pakoras. Yes guys I've tried pakoras like fish pakoras with cod and stuff like this and tilapi I think. Um, yeah i didn't really use salmon so this is going to be the first time i'm using that fish to make pakoras um, i'm going to try and make from one or two fillets some air fried fish as well so yeah i'm going to try and do the masala fish as well but with the salmon fillet but i'll see if, if i have time to do that it is quarter past 11 in the morning last night it was one of the days of Laila to Qadr. If you don't know what Laila to Qadr is, Laila to Qadr is basically the night of power or night of decree. That's when the first verse of the Quran came down. Basically, loads of Muslims around the world, they do um, Ibadah. Ibadah means worshipping, remembrance in Allah. So they do that and, you know, they do that for a couple of hours or they do that throughout the whole night. Um, so last night it was one of the nights of Laila to Qadr, so I stayed up and I always stay up until 2 a.m. in the morning anyway but by 1 o'clock or 1 30 my head starts to spin a little bit so yeah then I went to sleep after Fajr um, it was 2 40 or something Fajr was that's the first prayer and then I have to jump up by 9 o'clock or 9 9 20 in the morning and it just kills me that's why when i sleep i have a nap in the afternoon it feels so so good <laughs> so yeah guys i can't believe i can't i still can't believe guys it is the end of ramadan near to the end of ramadan and yeah guys i'm just looking forward um i'm just looking forward to for eid because i know this year it's gonna be very very different celebrating on my own and I don't know I don't know if you guys know uh, Boris Johnson says we can go out and meet one person in in public <laughs> so he lifted some rules up but I guess it's not gonna be the same this year it's not gonna be the same but anyway guys today like I said it's gonna be a smooth day so come along with me and see how my day plays out Okay guys, I'm just in the other bedroom and yes, the whole room's a mess. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this room. فكيف أجيب يا ويحي ومن ذا سوف يحميني أسلم نفس بالآمال من حين إلى حين Hey guys I've just cleaned up the bed and yeah I'm just gonna go head downstairs and see what the baby pandas are doing hello baby panda how are you alhamdulillah alhamdulillah 
We just cleaned up your bed. Do you like it? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, don't mess it, From sweetie. Pink style. You don't like the pink covering? No. Well, it's unisex, sweetie. It's not that bad. But well, look, look, it has the same pink, pink, pink. Okay, next time I'll put some blue instead. And you gave me that pink pillow. <laughs> okay. I think I got a blue one. Okay, let's go downstairs then, baby panda. Oh, I'm just gonna go to toilet. Okay, you go and release yourself. <laughs> Bye. Hello, baby panda. What I'm are you Penny. doing? What I'm, are you playing with? Let's I'm, see. I'm running. Oh, you're playing that running game. He's just addicted to this game. But then again, this game is quite addictive. Bang. He's only four years old. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got a little friend that came to the garden. Oh, bye, friend. my god I hate spiders and yeah I tend to suck them up in a vacuum <laughs> but anyway guys I'm gonna make some lunch for my kids so I'm making these paratas these paratas from Crown Farms I tend to find Crown Farms and uh, Sean's paratas comes out really really nice and obviously I'm gonna be making my eggs with that well for my sons that is because I'm fasting so yeah just gonna quickly go off and do that عيد الفطر من بعد شهر الصيام من بعد شهر الصوم شهر العبادة بك نبتهج يا عيد في كل عام يا عيد يا عيد الفرح والسعادة عيد الفطر من بعد شهر الصيام من بعد شهر الصوم شهر العبادة بك نبتهج يا عيد في كل عام طعم الفرح بالعيد دام بزيادة يا كيف بوصف فرحته في كلامي الله طعم الفرح بالعيد دام بزيادة يا كيف بوصف فرحته في كلامي دام السعد بالعيد يسرد جوادة بلغها لي عيد وفي سلامي دام السعد بالعيد يسرد جوادة بلغها لي عيد وفي سلامي وفي سلامي وفي سلامي ودان دن 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 ودان دنا 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 وداني دن 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 وداني دانا داني دانا داني دانا Here you go son, there you go Come on Mika Mika you there's your food Yum yum So breakfast for lunch Oh yeah Mikael and his little fork He always has his fork, here you go Okay, it is like near to 2.30 in the afternoon, so I've come to the kitchen to start to make my fish pakoras.
So the ingredients that we need to make these is first of all we need some fish. I am using um, this from the fishmonger. Basically it's wild pink salmon fillets. And the thing about these is that it comes in individual packets so that's quite cool. So yeah I'm just going to use two of these. The other three I've got a... I've got uh, another three of these fillets so I'm going to try and make some uh, masala fish with that so but right now let's focus on the pakoras so what you also need is some chilli powder spice and coriander you need uh, salt I've got some sea salt here some cumin and turmeric and you need some gram flour now this flour is basically chickpeas flour dried chickpeas so yeah you need this and then you just need an um, normal white flour as well and also guys you need an egg as well and a little bit of um, coriander leaves if you have any if not it's okay you can leave it out so yeah guys that's everything that you need to make your fish pakora so right now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cutting these up and washing these and yeah come back at ya once I'm done that so okay guys I gave it a wash but I'm just being very gentle with it and I'm just taking off any excess water so it'd be easier for me to you know cut through it so yeah just lightly pat it down okay this way okay okay so yeah so that's my two fillets guys so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try and cut them into square pieces I have cut these into small pieces I thought that the other knife was really good so it came out really it's okay the pieces came out so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get my bowl ready now and yeah we're gonna put them other ingredients in okay first thing first we're going to put in some flour so we need some of these flour and I always put these in first by the way guys you can add onions if you want you can pull that in so i'm just gonna pour it in at least shall i say three or four tablespoons of um this flour in then i'm gonna pour some plain flour in that so that's gonna be just one tablespoon of white flour then what I'm going to be doing is adding in some salt so I'll be adding in at least a tablespoon of uh, salt so yeah that's one tablespoon of salt I'm going to add in some chili powder and this is up to you how hot you want it me and my kids we have like a quarter less than a quarter i would say of a tablespoon so yeah put some coriander powder in one tablespoon of coriander powder cumin let's see if we can get it on if not just trying to put it at the quarter of a tablespoon and some turmeric just a pinch of turmeric yep and then we're gonna put at least a half of a cup of water into here and what we'll do we're just gonna bind it together so bismillah just binding it together so we get like a lovely lovely kind of thick kind of paste with the flour so you don't want to pour it all in at the same time the 
before I add anything else, I'm just going to try and add some um, coriander leaves to it as well. So yeah. So in there, I'm going to put in the coriander leaves that I did. I'm just going to pour it into there. So I'm just going to put some water in. going to just make it a little bit thick also we'll be putting in today is a tablespoon of any kind of oil I've got vegetable oil as always I'm just trying to use all the vegetable oil you see so I'm just gonna get it into there I'm just gonna crack an egg now here it goes in now some people will only use the egg white but I'd like to use the whole egg. The egg went in and yeah, I'm just going to bind that in. So I think this is the consistency I'm going to go for. Don't need it too runny then it won't stick onto the um, fish. So yeah, we're going to go over to the air fryer and then I'm just going to dip it in and put it straight into the air fryer. So okay guys, we come over to the air fryer. I've greased my pan, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but I greased it up. Let's see, Bismillah, a little bit nervous. <laughs> so the first one's gone in. Let's see, Bismillah. Keep that there. Make sure it's proper coated. And what the thing you can do, if you've got some leftover butter, why not? make like normal uh, pakoras hopefully if it does work so skin down here it goes okay guys i'm a little bit nervous so that's how it looks like hopefully it should come out if not it will be a waste but it's okay it looks like we've got quite a lot of batter left on the side so I, what I will probably do is make some normal pakoras that's later on so I'm just going to wipe the edges off a little bit of nastiness around here so yeah and what I'm going to do I'm just going to let it to run for 15 minutes like in the middle of 15 minutes when it's like uh, 9 minutes left 8 minutes left I would definitely turn them around so let's see how it works out Bismillah so guys it's showing that it's got eight minutes left and what I'm doing I'm just gonna check on it I don't think it's coming out good oh god well it kind of is look at that it kind of is but the thing is it's gone all together <laughs> what I'm gonna try and do is to break them up so I'm just gonna use this spatula and try and see if I can break it up so okay guys I've tried to um, yeah break it apart and yeah they look really look like ravioli definitely <laughs> so that's what I should call it that's fish pakora ravioli style there you go but anyway guys Let's carry on cooking this for the last eight minutes. It is finished. Let's see the end result. And yeah, I think I should just plate it up into the container. This is how it looks like. It looks like... <laughs> I don't I got no words, but it does look kind of look like some fish pakoras. But it looks more like biscuits, like ravioli or biscuits or something. But yeah, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't try it again, definitely wouldn't try it again, but I just always wanted to see how it will come out. So yeah, it looks okay. I mean, yeah, I would eat it. There's no problem with that. I would definitely eat it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make carry on with the other batch. I've got a little bit left over, and then I'm just going to go over to the masala fish and do that. And yeah, so yeah, so that's my um, ravioli fish style. <laughs> for chorus right now I've 
I've got this and what I'm doing in these in individual packets I am just going to wash the fish quickly I've got my fish now and what I'm going to do I'm going to have to get another knife out I don't know why I got that knife out I have to go and get the other one that my friend Sarah again she gave me so this really thin knife I tend to find it works so what I'm going to do I'm just going to make it into just cut it right in the middle. I'm not going to make it small this time around because I want to put it all into one well I'll try <laughs> all into one uh, into the air fryer all together so yeah I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can just taste so yeah I think that should be okay I'm thinking should I do that with this one yeah okay I changed my mind <laughs> I know what you're thinking what the hell she says one thing and does another but I'm a girl I'm allowed to change my mind <laughs> so yeah so I think yeah that's like two three inches I think that would do I just said a minute ago I'll keep it but I changed my mind again <laughs> Why not just make it smaller size? Oh god. So that's how it looks like. I should just cut it all in one go, but anyway, <laughs> this is how it looks like the fish. What I'm gonna do is put that in one place. I'm just gonna quickly wash everything up. So okay guys, I have washed everything around. I'm just gonna bring it a little bit forward. So yeah, like this. There you go. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm using this. This is from Ria's. This is spice mix. I'm only going to put this in and with some a uh, little bit of salt in there as well. So, yeah, just going to use a little bit, like probably two tablespoons, well, teaspoons, sorry, of that in. Going to use some salt. So, like a teaspoon and as always my parsley so yeah so yeah I'm just gonna put at least a teaspoon of that and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna start mixing everything up I'm not gonna put anything else and um, actually what I will put in is the oil I don't know if you've been watching my other vlogs, I'm always forgetting to put the oil in. But yeah, one teaspoon of oil. Okay, so that basically it is it. And I'm just going to just mix them all up. Just be careful that you don't break it because the fish is very, very delicate. This is my masala fish and yeah, it looks absolutely wonderful. I'm just going to go over to the air fry and put that in now. So again, we have some oil at the bottom. Now my fish is going in. Bismillah. Skin side down. As always. Right, this is how much I can fit in, guys. Like that. And yeah just gonna pop that in and yeah i'm just gonna leave it to cook for at least 10 minutes and yeah halfway through i'm gonna turn it over so okay bismillah okay guys there's only four minutes left on this and it looks okay i'm just gonna bring it over and show you guys i don't know if you can see it, it looks okay and yeah i'm just gonna turn these over one by one now oh, i want to break it though so okay guys i have flipped them all over as you can see yeah and i'm just gonna place that back in and the last remaining four minutes i'm gonna see how it comes out Okay guys, 
guys, it is done. Let's see how it comes out. Well, that looks really, really good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into the container. I'm going to show you all of the things that I've done now. Okay, guys, I got my <laughs> two pakoras here and the fish. So, again, this is the salmon pakora, the flat ones. This is a flat um, potato and yeah onion one and this is the fish oh look at that that is really nice look at that fish mmm yum 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 so yeah my masala fish but salmon fish so yeah this is everything that I've done now so okay guys it is nearly coming to 5 30 I can't believe I've been in the kitchen for over three hours now and yeah, I need to get ready to do my uzu and to go and pray my aso salah. Then I'm going to be making iftar. So I guess at iftar time, I'll come back at ya and I'll show you what I'll be eating for tonight. Okay guys, it is like near to 8.40 in the afternoon, well in the evening actually. And yes, I've made my iftar for tonight and um, we're still waiting for the neighbour to give us their food so it hasn't arrived yet what the neighbor has given us well will be given us um but i'll quickly show you what i'll be eating and what i made today so what i have here i've got two plates this is like the plate when the neighbor's food comes i'll put it onto the plate right here basically it's just leftovers really so it's just rice yesterday's rice um Today I made this, the spicy uh, Mexican burger, the chicken steak burgers right here and my boiled egg. I always have to have boiled egg when I open my fast. These are leftovers again. Um, I think there was leftover from yesterday, some naan bread. I didn't want to throw it away because it is Ramadan and they have left um, yesterday the neighbours pakoras. That deep fried pakoras these are. So yeah, they're very spicy by the way guys, look at that, that is really nice. So yeah, that's basically the leftovers from yesterday, because in this house I am the dustbin. <laughs> this is everything that we made just a few minutes ago, obviously you got your masala fish, you got your pakoras, that's the uh, salmon pakora and you got the right at the bottom. If I can get it out yeah here and you got your potato and onion pakoras and the date right here so I think the neighbors food has just arrived so let me quickly bring that in and yeah I'll show you what they have given as well okay the neighbor has given us their food and I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what I've got Let's just bring it down a bit okay I don't know I'm not sure what the hell this is <laughs> I don't know, overbaked cauliflower probably with some breadcrumbs, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, we got some fruit, so I, I don't know, Sharon fruit, I think that is, and some watermelon. Got some like a kebab or something. This is. Um, they got the deep fried, their own pakoras, so these are deep fried ones. Um, we got this big samosa, deep fried again. Um, we got these like black, you know, chana, so black um, chickpeas that they made into a chart. And yeah, I think that's everything. And this big thing, I'm not sure what it is, but it's like a harm moon thing. I'm not even sure what's inside here, but yeah, I'm just going to open it actually and see what the hell is in. Okay, so basically it looks like cauliflower or something i'm not even sure what the hell it is i think it's a sweet something sweet i'm not sure but it's going to be interesting of to eat this anyway guys i'm just going to be waiting until we open our fast and then i'll come back at ya once i open my fast and yeah once i'm chilling <sighs> okay guys it is like 9 40 in the evening and i've got my tea ready unfortunately i didn't tell baby panda to make my tea for today he looks very very tired as well as it's past his bedtime so today has been a very smooth and easy going get day um i didn't really do much as you saw just cleaned the bed did a little bit of cleaning did a little bit of cooking 
and just sitting around and relaxing and playing with the kids I guess and you know I can't believe I still can't believe we just got one week left guys one week guys and then Ramadan we go and oh I feel so sad that Ramadan is going but Inshallah, Inshallah, if Allah keeps us alive next year, I hope to find Ramadan again. And yeah, guys, I guess that's it for my vlog tonight. And yeah, we came to the end of my video. And yes, guys, as always, I always say this in all my videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please press the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel. And yes, guys, in description box below there should be my Instagram um, name so yeah check out my Instagram as well and follow me on that as well and yes guys I hope you have a lovely evening I think I'm just gonna be chilling then after a while I'm just gonna read my Esha Salah and then my Terawi and then I'll be like <sighs> like like how I am a couch potato and you know all over my sofa so that's what I've been doing tonight but yeah guys I will see you in my next video it's a me Farah Panda saying bye